Chuck Paxton, I've been doing uh, holography now for about 10 years. Uh, basically taught myself in the garage with the use of just a uh, $50 kit from a laser supply house. And uh, got more information on it, started to grow into holography in the garage. A um, couple of years, I had the opportunity to meet Fred Entesair, who wrote the book I was currently using and found he was at Pasadena College. So uh, hooked up together and uh, he's done a lot to uh, broaden my expertise in holography. In around 1991, um, Fred Entesair introduced me to uh, one of his students, Roy Sherratt, who was at the process of building a lab in an old wine cellar behind his house. Uh, we hooked up together and formed the uh, Photon Cantina. From there, we basically uh, started a business selling display holography to distributors um, for retail sale. This hologram we shot in 91 uh, when we were with the Photon Cantina. This is a uh, transmission hologram. It's our master we used for uh, making the production of reflection holograms. Transmission master, we shot this one around the same time period as the Dolphins in 91. And I really like this one because it has the uh, element of a magnifying glass. From the master, we put it back in the setup and illuminated it with laser light and actually projected an image out in space, placed our H2, which was our transfer film, in that space, and we were able to capture that 3D image. This is my most recent hologram. I shot this in March of 2003, and the holograms of a 5,000-year-old uh, bronze from the Mesopotamian era and I did this project for the professor of archaeology over at UCLA. Now this is the final transfer of the master we saw earlier of just the lion. This is the lion of Yurikesh. It's like the 5,000 year old bronze. And what I've done here is did a series of different emulsion swellings. What we're looking at now is the composite stereogram table. We've got the laser here, transfer mirror to the beam splitter sends the first beam up through the spatial filter to the overhead mirror and then down to our plate holder. The second beam comes through, through the film holder, which projects the image onto the diffuser. And the way I see it now is this is the way holography is going. This is, this is the new change in holography. Is it's going from computer to a holographic output.